But nowadays, astronomers don't really use lunar eclipses to do very much science. But historically, lunar eclipses were very important. So we go back to the time of the Greeks now. The Greeks noticed a couple of really interesting things about eclipses. One thing they noticed was that the, the shadow here, when you have a partial eclipse, this shadow is curved. And they realized that they knew, I mean, they were, the, the Greeks are very good at astronomy, they were good at geometry, they were good at mathematics, and good at writing things down. They realized that the, uh, the moon was moving into the Earth's shadow, and they realized that the Earth's, <coughs> the edge of the Earth has to be round. Okay? So they could deduce the shape of the Earth from the shadow caused by the, the eclipse. And they noticed that if, if, if the eclipse, if, if, whether the eclipse was in the top of the sky, way above here, or way over to the west, or way over to the east, the shadow of the Earth, whichever way the sun was shining on the Earth, the shadow was always a circle. And they knew enough geometry to know that the, there's only one three-dimensional shape that always casts the shadow that's a circle, and that's a sphere. So the Greeks, here we are, the Greeks knew that the Earth was a sphere. And some people don't realize this, that um, uh, there's this kind of myth that Christopher Columbus uh, thought the Earth was flat. Or people at Christopher Columbus might thought the Earth was flat. Uh, people, well-educated people, by that I mean astronomers, have, have known uh, way back to the time of the Greeks that the Earth is a sphere. And so right to the time of Aristotle and Ptolemy, the, the, we've known that the, the Earth is a sphere. <coughs>